So the time is 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, exactly 14 hours after the release of the 9th anniversary LR Broly and LR Gogeta banners on Global. And after last night slash this morning's summoning video, I'm like super into Dokkan again. It's kind of funny how pulling just absolute fire will do that to you. Anyways. Uh, I'm making this video right now because this is a topic that is of much interest to me and I'm sure you guys are very interested as well. So with all that said, we're going to take a look at the top grossing charts across the globe to see how Global Dokkan is performing and get a better idea of what kind of rewards and most importantly, how many Dragonstones we can expect to get over the next couple of days. So with all that said, let's jump right in. As always, we are on the Sensor Tower website. We're filtered by the App Store because the Google Play Store typically doesn't hit top grossing. I mean, it happens, but it's quite rare. The date is July 9th, which is today, and we're also in the games category. So the first region we'll start with is the US, considering that's where most of you guys, my viewers, are from. And as you can see in this top grossing column here, Dokkan Battle is currently at number two in the US. Uh, unfortunately, behind Monopoly Go still, I honestly didn't realize that Monopoly Go was that popular or even that profitable, but I guess it is. But uh, number two is still good, and there's definitely a chance that they can get that number one spot at some point. So now we're going to move on to the next region, which is France, and longtime viewers will know that France has always been a uh, very dependable region for top grossing when it comes to global. So uh, yeah, as expected, number one overall top grossing, or at least the number one top grossing game in France, which is the main thing that we care about. So uh, shout out to France. Thank you for coming in clutch once again. Next up, we have uh, Hong Kong, which is also at number one. We have Luxembourg at number one, Macau at number one, and lastly, Belgium at number one. So a total of one, two, three, four, five, five regions at number one top grossing games for uh, Global Dokkan, which uh, for the first like 12, 14 hours, I think is quite good because we do have a lot of other regions that are very, very close. And I feel like can definitely get to that number one spot. So for example, we have Italy at number two, Spain's at number two, Germany's the number two, Austria's the number two, Croatia's the number two, uh, Switzerland's at number two, and uh, Malta is also at number two. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, and then if you include the US, eight regions that are at number two for top grossing games in their respective uh, Google Play, or sorry, uh, App Store. So as much as this is an update video, it's also gonna serve as a PSA for the people in those regions that are currently sitting at number two, like the US or Italy, Spain, Germany, so on and so forth, to stop spending money on Monopoly Go and Brawl Stars and buy a few more stone packs in Dokkan and uh, get us to that number one spot so we can get more free Dragon Stones in the next couple of days. So uh, yeah, that is the update guys. Five regions so far at number one top grossing games and uh, a bunch of other regions that are very, very close. So once it's all said and done, we could be in theory at like 10 regions at number one. It's probably not gonna be that high, but even five is I think quite good. And if we take a look at how they handled top grossing rewards last year, uh, this was for the 8th anniversary. The first top grossing had 9 regions. And for that, we got 100 dragonstones, a bunch of orbs, character slots, some coins, and all that good stuff. So if we get just a few more regions to number 1, then I think the 100 stones is pretty much a lock. Even if we only stay at 5, there is a chance that they might decide to be nice and still give us 100 stones, but of course, I don't know anything for sure. They could be stingy this year and only give like 50 or something to that effect, but I think more than likely because it's the anniversary, they will lean on the generous side, so there's a pretty good chance we get 100 stones, but it's not guaranteed, just to be clear. So if we don't get it, 
you know, don't be mad at me. But uh, yeah, guys, that is the update. Like I said, if you're in those regions that are very close and, you know, you can still afford to buy a few more stone packs, then maybe go for it. If not, that's cool too. Either way, hopefully we get a lot of stones and a lot of rewards over the next couple of days. Um, I don't know exactly when that's going to drop, but most likely, you know, by like the end of the week at the latest, right? So uh, that is your update, guys. Enjoy the anniversary. Hopefully your summons are going amazing. And if not, then uh, help is on the way. Top grossing stones are on the way. So you can look forward to that for sure. And as always, if you like today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.